Are you struggling to set up your WooCommerce shipping? Well, you've come to the right place for help. In this video, I will walk you through the hassle of setting up zones, configuring rates, and help you create a smooth checkout experience for your customers. Let's get to it. WooCommerce shipping configurations can be a bit complex, so we've simplified the whole process by creating an easy onboarding setup for WooCommerce websites when you build your store here at Hostinger. If you don't have a WooCommerce site yet, no worries. Setting one up with Hostinger is really fast and easy. In the description below this video, you will find a link to the Manage WooCommerce Hosting landing page, where you can choose a plan that suits your needs. For this tutorial, I will grab the ever popular Cloud Startup plan, which comes with handy AI features. In the checkout process, select a subscription period. If you opt for a period longer than 12 months, you will get to enjoy significant discounts and a free domain name for the first year. After that, log into your hosting your account or create one simply here by using your email or connecting with your Google account. Finally, select your preferred payment method and enter the required details. Also, don't forget to add the coupon code WU10 over here to get an extra 10% off your purchase. Click this button to submit your payment. After you're done, you'll be taken to your new hosting onboarding process where you can set up your new online store. For this demonstration, we'll choose to create a new website, and in the second step, we will have to create login details for our WordPress account. After that, let's choose that we want to create an online store. Next, we'll be presented with some pre-built website templates and themes for our online store. You can preview them if you wish, so choose the one you like best or create a blank website if you want to do it all from scratch. After you're done with that, you can add some recommended plugins to your online store over here or search for your favorites in this field. Then, choose a domain name for your website. You can buy a new domain name, transfer an existing one, or use a temporary domain name for the time being. Finally, select a data center from the list that is closest to your target audience for the best shopping experience. Give it a minute until your WordPress website is installed and you'll be taken to the HPanel dashboard where you can see your website. To continue the online store's onboarding process, we'll need to go to your website's WordPress dashboard, which we can access by clicking on the admin panel button over here. Once we're here, the Hostinger Easy onboarding plugin will set up your WooCommerce site for you. Let's overview the whole process. So first, you'll see this dashboard. Here, just type in your business details and then jump right into adding products and setting up payments. The onboarding will provide you with the recommendations for your store, including settings for the shipping setup. Here you can choose from several plugin options. Now, they may differ depending on your location as you'll be recommended local shipping carriers to integrate. For this tutorial, we'll use this flexible shipping plugin, which is great for calculating shipping prices and setting your own rules. Plus, it works globally too. So, let's just click add plugin and then add shipping method to enter the WooCommerce shipping settings. Now, you'll be asked to set up the shipping zone. This will be the foundation for all of your shipping options in WooCommerce. This interface may vary depending on your store's location. Since my store is in the US, we're seeing this default option. To add a new zone, simply click this button. Then give it a name and choose a region. It can be a continent, a country, or a state. And you can select more than one. I'll add Lithuania for this example. If you want to limit the zones further, simply include postal codes into the box. You can separate these per line or use a numeric range. Now, choose a shipping method, and by default, WooCommerce provides flat rate shipping, free shipping, and local pickup. Flat rate means you'll define a standard shipping rate per item, shipping class, or order. Free shipping could apply to a certain number of orders, regions, or coupon code usage. And if you want your customers to pick up the item themselves, you'll want to go with local pickup. All of that said, we have another option here, and that is flexible shipping. It comes from the plugin we added earlier, so I'm going to choose this option to show it off. First, make sure the toggle is enabled and click Edit. You can now change the method's name and description. This information will be displayed in your customer's cart, so we can also set your chosen shipping carrier over here. Do know that HTML tags are supported in the description field, so we can also use the href tag to link to a shopping price list. Next, set if you want to enter the shipping costs with or without taxes. The plugin gives you multiple options for providing free shipping. Choose any one that you like. For now, I'll go with minimum order value. Then type the purchase amount you want for free shipping. You just have to input the number in US dollars. For this example, I'll go with 100. You can also customize the free shipping label as you wish. And here's a little marketing tip. Taking this option may get your customers to buy more products for free shipping. Just edit the notice text and make sure it's persuasive. 
Now, you can set up a few more things over here. With the free version, you can only choose the sum type for your rules, which means that all of them will be added up together. We should leave the card calculation option as it is, since that will exclude virtual products from the rule we're setting here. Then, ticking this option will restrict customers from seeing the price if they don't log in. While activating the debug mode, we'll let the plugin point out errors, which is helpful in this stage. Now comes the crucial part. We're going to set up the shipping rule in this table. With the free version of the plugin, you can only set the shipping conditions according to price and weight. The plugin also provides ready-made scenarios for creating rules. I'll choose the price-based one. Now you only need to tweak the conditions according to your needs. For instance, I'll change the price range to be like this. Since our free shipping threshold is 100, I'll set the cost to zero. You can also combine the rules and add as many as you like by clicking add rule. Once that's done, don't forget to save the changes. Now let's see how it looks for the end users. On the checkout page, try setting the shipping address to the zone we've just configured. In my case, if I check out this single product, I'll be charged this amount for the shipping price. If we go back and see the rule, the product price condition matches the shipping rate. We're also seeing this free shipping notice, which means that the pricing rule is working. Next, I'll add more products to the cart, and now we can see that the shipping is free. Based on the products you sell, you may want to check multiple shipping scenarios as well. Make sure all of the calculations are correct. If they're not, you'll have to adjust your shipping rule for other potential scenarios. Now, if you don't sell a lot of variable products, you may want to go with WooCommerce's default shipping. I'll show you how to set up flat rate shipping as a case example. First, go back to the shipping zone page, then click add a shipping method and choose flat rate this time. The next step is to decide if it's taxable, so add the price and hit this button. But what if your customers want to buy several products though? Multiplying the shipping price by the number of products may cause them to cancel the checkout. Lucky for us, you can set the rates based on the quantity. For instance, if you want to add a dollar for every extra item in your client's cart, input a line like this one. This is the base shipping price, and this formula will calculate the addition. You can use more advanced shipping rate formulas too. Check them out on the WooCommerce documentation page. I'll leave the link in the description below. To classify the base shipping rate, you can set multiple shipping classes, so navigate to the Classes menu, then add a new shipping class. Now, name the shipping class and describe the product classification. The slug field is optional as it will be created automatically. Here I'm creating heavy, lightweight and free shipping classes as an example. Now we'll need to assign classes to the existing products. Hover over a product, click edit and go to the shipping tab. Since this product is under a kilo, I'm choosing lightweight. Then finish by clicking update. Repeat the process to assign classes to the products you want. Once that's done, go back to the shipping settings, choose the region to implement flat rate shipping and click edit. Now that we can see all the different shipping classes, type the shipping prices into the fields accordingly. Plus, you could even write formulas like I showed you earlier. I'll put zero for the free shipping and change only the base price, leaving this field blank as I assign shipping classes to all products. Then choose the calculation type. I'll go with the per class option. And finally hit save to finish. Let's preview the site once again and update the shipping address to the US. As I have two items in the cart, we're now getting this amount for the shipping price. And that's the second method that you can use to set it up. Now that I've shown you the ropes, you can pick whichever you're comfortable with. All right, now you're ready to ship products anywhere you like and everything is automated for you. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to help you out. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe to our channel for more WooCommerce tutorials like this in the future. As always, thank you for watching and good luck on your online journey.